Good afternoon. Welcome to Harvest in Japan. My name is Lisa, and today I'll be showing you what you must know before going to cherry blossom viewing. I'll be sharing two major things in this video today. The first is a hidden cherry blossom destination with no tourists at all, and secondly, a very important website that shows you exactly where to find the cherry blossoms and the crucial information of what stage the flowers are at. So whether they're buds or they're fully bloomed. Hi guys, today I am here at Sayama Park. This is a beautiful local park just 40 minutes away from Osaka Station. I'm here on a Saturday afternoon and as you can see, it's not really crowded at all. I don't see any tourists. Most of the visitors here at this park are locals. There's a lot of natural beauty here. There's a pond and some hiking trails. Today, we have cherry blossoms fully bloomed. Now, there is nothing wrong with enjoying Hanami at places like Osaka Castle, but this is just another option. Sayama Park is one of 100 historical parks in Japan. It features the oldest reservoir in the country and is popular among locals for cherry blossom viewing. With over 1,400 cherry trees planted around the pond, you can enjoy early blooming Koshino cherry blossoms that bloom at the end of March. These are the earliest blooming cherry blossoms. The next ones start in mid-April and they are the double flowering ones. So at this park, the cherry blossom season is quite long. The park also offers a scenic walking path around Sayama Pond, providing beautiful views and a relaxing spot for picnics. From this angle, the tunnel doesn't really look like a tunnel, but if I move over here, the sakura would frame the photo. Maybe I need to move closer. Yeah, kind of frames it. Nah, the video just doesn't really do it justice, but it looks really, really nice in person. So that's the dragon shrine, which is that tiny little bit here. The Dragon Shrine is located on a small island in the middle of Sayama Pond. It is dedicated to a legendary dragon that lived in the pond. As a result, Sayama City's mascot is a dragon combined with cherry blossoms. See that little head? It's so cute, it's a cherry blossom. There's also a butterfly garden here and it's got over 40 species. I found out about this place on a website, very handy. It lists out all the sakura spots and what stage the buds or flowers are at. Now the website is in Japanese, but I think Google Translate does a pretty good job. So down here, you see the entire map of Japan. It will tell you where tree blossoms are in the entirety of Japan. The Kanto region here is Tokyo. So if you're going to Tokyo, you press and see more hanami and cherry blossom spots in tokyo they've got the hottest ranking which are obviously where you have a lot of people and they would have the festivals now if you scroll down there's a whole list of parks including the quiet ones and popular ones and on the left here this bunch of flowers mean it's fully bloomed and down here at Lake Okotama, you can see that it's only at around the fifth or sixth stage and there isn't as much flowers displayed here. For example, here at Kiyosumi Garden, these are only buds. And what's this green thing here? It means the cherry blossoms have already finished. You know, they've all fallen off. So what you want to do is you want to look for these fully bloomed icons like at Kogane Park and National Showa Memorial Park here. So let's just, uh, for example, click into Kogane Park and there's a picture of it. It's full bloom, eight, eight means we're pretty much your stage eight. Now down here from the left, it's buds and obviously you move towards the right of the scale and you get full bloom. Then after full bloom is where you have the Sakura Snow that's when the flowers fall off and it looks like snow. It's actually really beautiful. And then after that, it's uh, finished. There's a report down here 
that talks about which types of cherry blossom it is and when the festival starts like that and the report was from March the 24th uh, today I'm recording this on March the 26th what I went to was the Osaka area down there and I just pushed Osaka now Osaka Castle Park is definitely one of the most popular ones but it's only at stage five at the moment uh, the place I went to was the Sayama Ike Park which is over here it says full bloom there are, it says here there are cherry blossoms at night that means there's a light illuminating them and there's a festival but it wasn't held on the day that I went this website has information on over 1,000 cherry blossom viewing spots. This website is really handy and I highly recommend you to use it for planning your Hanami trip. Today is really cloudy and there is a high chance of rain, but you can imagine if it's a sunny day with beautiful blue skies, how extra amazing this park would look. Now since in spring there are a lot of cloudy days and rainy days, so do set aside some days where you can swap your intended cherry blossom visiting day around. I would recommend at least doing two days of cherry blossom viewing. So one day go to somewhere really really popular like Osaka Castle or Ueno Park. A lot of people, great festival and vibes, do that. And the second day go somewhere really quiet, laid back and no tourism at all. Just enjoy the cherry blossoms two different ways. The term for cherry blossom viewing is hanami. The locals do this every year and some enjoy it as a picnic under a cherry tree. So what I suggest is before heading to your little park, go to a supermarket or kombini, grab a bento box, grab some fried chicken, and you can also bring booze. Booze is allowed in public. Bring along a mat from Daiso and you are ready for your picnic. The place I went to, uh, there was no Daiso, there was no Kombini around, so I didn't get to do my picnic at all. And by the time I was leaving, which was six-ish, um, I realized there's a supermarket, there's a Sunday supermarket nearby. It's a very economical, cheap one but it's too late. I mean, it's already nighttime or the lights are on. I can still do the night picnic, but it was really cold and I had somewhere else to go. Make sure you get all your stuff before you head over to Sayama Park because you're not going to be able to stock up there. Haha, <laughs> that is so cute. <laughs> so adorable. <laughs> If you want to spend the entire day here at Osaka Sayama, there is the Sayama Museum right next to the pond. There are also several shrines and you can try the famous pond curry. I've put a PDF link in the description below if you want to check out the area. I didn't get to do that as I only had two hours to spend here and I've already spent it all at the pond. So if you guys get to see the other places in this city, then please let me know what you like best. Another thing is the microphone stopped working several times so what you see mostly is a voiceover so if you know the lip sync is a little weird then apologies for that. Some of the audio I just recorded without the mic because I gave up and that's why the quality might be a little all over the place so sorry about that but you know I just wanted to get this video out as soon as possible for you guys because I know some of you are already in Japan now, some of you may be coming next week. So I hope this video is helpful for you and definitely if you're coming here for the next cherry blossom season, then you can do some early planning. So thank you guys for watching all the way until the end. I had a really fun day today. If you enjoy this type of content, please like and subscribe to Harpist in Japan. My name is Lisa and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!